Okay, here I am. We're using scratch audio here, so you can hear my camera fans. But if I want to rack back to the uh, background there, to the nice out the window with the rain and the little plants, and then I rack back to me. It's pretty fucking cool. Look around the scene a little. Oh, there's the hallway out there. Yeah, but we'll keep it on me. Oh, surprise, I'm in a fake room! <laughs> so the shakiness is just my uh, <clears throat> dolly because I've got the tripod really tall on it. So it's a little flimsy. But I can rack focus to the screen and I get no more A. So I can do these fun shots. This area seems to be a little less, uh, a little more taxing on the uh, system. Got that laser science beam behind me. Get over this pan, can get out of the way. So it's like the frame rate in this scene is uh, a little slow. So it's about optimization. Probably in a scene like this, want to bake the lighting. And uh, I realized in this project that I have, I think I have Lumen turned on from one of the other levels I'm in. So. Um, it really taxes the system, uh, like ray tracing and stuff. So I'm gonna turn Lumen off and come back to this and see if I look, get a little bit better frame rate on my uh, little science, little science setup back there. Yeah, yeah, it's a little choppy. It's a little choppy. You know, I do for business. Okay, it looks like I've got my particle accelerators back there working finally. You see the turbines. Moving around here. Let me focus on that. Got the turbines moving around. Much more nice. Oh, look, there's a. Uh... So what it ended up being was uh, uh, not the lighting. I had not. I first time I'd opened this thing, I'd not turned on Nanite on all the mesh materials. So as soon as I jumped into this area, all the LODs jumped to a higher resolution, and the game bogged down to like 12 frames per second. So I turned on Nanite took like two hours and I turned on Nanite and all the meshes in this uh, level design and now I'm back up into the 50s so everything's running now but you see here I got a uh, oops I got a mesh right here that's uh, messed up because that has a translucent material on it and Nanite does not work with translucent materials so I have to uh, just go and double check that uh, some of the meshes uh, that have any type of translucency in them are not, do not have nanite enabled, so. But yeah, a little more dramatic lighting right now. Doesn't, I don't think it matches too much in this scene, but uh, you know, baby steps. <laughs> nice.